Here we see the figurine of a woman, or the Soros woman. And it was found in these pieces, similar pieces, have been found in graves as well as in settlements, which makes them very enigmatic. Usually if you find something as a grave good, you're not going to find it regularly in the homes of the living. So unusual to start with. Their size ranges anywhere from inches to nearly life size, and they are comprised of very simple geometric forms, often dominated by triangular forms. They're very abstract. You can definitely read them as human, and in this case, female. But it doesn't have that attempt at reality that we're used to from other pieces. It's highly, highly stylized. If I told you this was from the 1970s or 1980s, you may well believe me. But they're actually surprisingly similar to things like the Venus figurine. Look at the elements that are being focused on. We see the breasts, we see a belly that the arms are inside, sort of sitting over. We get that sense of forced perspective once again uh, from the piece. It's really remarkable in terms of its abstraction, but also the ability to read it. That being said, we don't know whether or not this actually is a fertility piece because there are a lot of them. The toes, sometimes figures, arms, backs of knees, and pubic triangles are often incised. The pubic triangle being there to identify this as a female form as opposed to a male form really common in prehistoric society to use that form. We saw it on the Venus of Willendorf as well. We also see small downward pointed feet and we know that they were painted, although most of them have been stripped of any paint that they had by the people who found them. So what exactly are they? We're not entirely certain. Having a child, I think the worst possible explanation for this is that they may in fact be toys or dolls. I couldn't imagine having a stone doll that weighs several pounds that you can hit a sibling with. But hey, things were different. These could be fertility figures or goddesses, some kind of magical piece that would bring fertility to someone. Maybe it's created for the crops and for herds and buried in the ground. We're not entirely certain. They may have funerary associations. They may be like a Ka statue, but that wouldn't explain why they're all female. Why we see predominantly female forms and not male forms. Presumably the men of the cichlids die as well. It could be a small scale domestic cult or a god that is lost through time. And that happens a lot. Gods die off. On occasion, people find necro swords and just go after them. It's crazy. But the, the belief system dies off, either through invasion or simply f through being forgotten, a sort of religious evolution. Either way, they are enigmatic forms and highly unusual in their very stylized approach, especially when we look at, well, everything else in this area. 